I am not a liar. I have killed thousands. I have fed more drug fiends than the top three pharmaceutical companies combined. Thanks. I have stolen children from parents, wives from husbands, wiped out entire generations. Jeez. But lying, that I have never done. The rest are offenses against humanity. Lying is an offense against yourself. I am the head of the Santa Blanca organization. Which you call a cartel. I had a dream. I dreamed of a land where we could grow our own coca. Produce our own cocaine. Where we could run our business free from interference from the police. The government. The army. The Yankees. In my dream. A woman's voice asked me. Sueño. Mijo. Bolivia. What if you had your own country? Like Moses, I led my people to the promised land, <laughs> Olivia. We came here. We bought the coca fields. What we couldn't buy, we took. We bought the police, the military, the judges, the politicians. We were on the verge of becoming the government itself. Money, bro. On the razor's edge from fulfilling my dream. Of creating a narco state. The nation of Santa Blanca. It's a bad boy right there. <laughs> Last week, a crude explosive detonated outside the US Embassy in La Paz, Bolivia. Two Marine Embassy guards were injured in the blast. Two days later, a CIA asset in central Bolivia provided us with these images. Our analysts have identified the individual Sheesh. in the photo as DEA Special Agent Ricardo Ricky Sandoval, my friend. Sandoval has had spent the last six years investigating the local cocaine industry. Our understanding is that Sandoval was the intended target of the bombing. What the embassy bomb did not accomplish was completed up close and personal. Sandoval was captured, tortured, and killed. Then his body was dumped. We have yet to recover it. Our target, the group responsible for the embassy bombing and the death of Special Agent Sandoval, is the drug trafficking organization commonly known as the Santa Blanca Cartel. Yesterday, okay. they were just narcos. Today, they're narco-terrorists. Initially, the Bolivian government resisted the Mexican cartel. They formed UNIDAD, a Bolivian special forces unit. It didn't go as planned. Thousands of bodies later, politicians, police officers, and journalists have become an endangered species. Man. The Bolivian government has imploded on itself. With no other options, the new president made a deal with Santa Blanca. You stop killing our people, we'll look the other way. Since then, Santa Blanca has turned Bolivia into the nexus of the South American drug trade. With their friends in Mexico, they also have a clear pipeline to the U.S. and Canada. The only way to stop Santa Blanca for good is to completely dismantle them, piece by piece. The cartel is organized into four operations. Production, smuggling, security, and influence. Okay. At the top of it all is El Jefe de los Jefes. Where should we go first? Boss of bosses, El Sueño. What's good with it guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for clicking on the video. I am very excited to bring you guys an all new playthrough here on the channel. We're going to be playing through Ghost Recon Wildlands. Now I've played this game before many, many years ago when it first came out. I played with my boy. We put a lot of hours into this game, so I'm kind of familiar, but it has been a little bit. This menu looks completely brand new, so it's going to take me a second to kind of get my feet wet again, get acclimated to what's going on right here. I'm excited. Uh, I'm playing Destiny 2 at the same time right now, so obviously two very different games, but I'm just gonna bounce back and forth. The stealth, tactical, and then there's the crazy <laughs> looter shooter we got going on. Yeah, I'm excited to jump in here, and I don't wanna waste too much time. I've already ran through the settings, and uh, I'll just kinda explain them as we get through the game. 
if you don't touch the screen the freaking thing <laughs> goes off but anyway we're just gonna go here to continue campaign we don't have one yet i'm just gonna go ahead and skip to my finished character and here we go this is what i came up with obviously we'll change as we go as we get more gear but pretty casual guy actually there's one thing i'm missing i think it was yeah <laughs> there we go i was missing something yeah real cool cat but anyway let's jump into this man uh, advanced or extreme we're just gonna go advanced for now and we'll jump into it to the extreme a little bit later here we go baby welcome guys thank you for clicking on the video man don't forget to get your headphones throw them on turn them all the way up so we can vibe out do this thing together man okay got to it's the only way to do this for real the agent they murdered. You knew him? He was a friend of mine. That's a cool cat right there, ain't it? <laughs> Sorry for your loss. I could say it comes with a job, but it doesn't get any easier. No, Forgot we had homies. Guess you've been down here a while? I've been living as Karen Bowman, international aid worker for just about five years. That gave me a mustache. <laughs> Means living rough, but as a cover, it gets me out and about. At least it comes with a chopper. How'd you get in country? A fluent business class from Manaus. Hey, I'm refreshed and ready for work, right? I just hitched rides from Barranco, Peru. How about you? I got on board a bus in Hui, Argentina and drank all the way to Via Zone. Nobody wants to deal with a drunk on the bus. <laughs> that explains why you smell like ass. <laughs> I've heard rumors about you guys. I was a rookie field officer in Moscow when the coup went down. There was talk you were involved? Nah, must have been someone else. We were never there. <laughs> it's not every day you get to meet an urban legend in the flesh. My hands are sweating, bro. I'm nervous. Tell that to my kid. Maybe he'd listen when I tell him to take the trash out. Is it hard being someone who doesn't officially exist? You tell me, Karen Bowman, international aid worker. I'm sure you've seen the horrible, fucked up shit humans are capable of when there are zero repercussions. But let me tell you right now, no matter how you compartmentalize how you Desensitize, you can't prepare for El Sueño. <laughs> That's comforting. He's got a religious streak that rates pretty close to delusional. He's taken vows of poverty, chastity. If he's not in it for the chocha or the money, he's in it for the power. This joint task force is CIA, DEA, JSOC. I'm your resident spook for this ride. Welcome to Operation Kingslayer. Our briefing said there'd be a contention of locals. The guitar is 26. They're a group of rebels who've been giving Unidad and Santa Blanca some resistance. We'll meet their leader, Pacatari, as soon as we touch down. Bolivians have a long history of hating us Yankees, but this time, let's hope the enemy of my enemy will be my friend. But don't turn your back on him. I'm not going to. Hmm. Ooh, we about to touch down. I wonder what weapons they start us out with. See, he's tired. He got the got the sleeve. Had to gotta get the sleeve, baby. Sick photo op. Soldiers. This is the help you promised? That Sandoval promised? A single Yankee died, so you send a handful of soldiers. Hundreds of Bolivians have died from Santa Blanca's bullets. Where will my hundreds of soldiers come from? As Americans, we aren't here, remember? These soldiers are the best covert ops team our country has to offer. With their help, you won't need hundreds of soldiers. Are you familiar with the word Huber, Senora Bowman? Meet Pakatari, leader of the resistance group Kataris 26. We will be working with the rebels to destabilize Santa Blanca's organization. Yep. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six years now. We'll need to coordinate targets. 
There is no time for this. We have information on Amaru's whereabouts. Amaru? You found him? Amaru is one of the founders of the Qataris 26. More than that, her group is founded on his ideas. Without his theories of an agrarian proletariat, there would be no organized resistance against Santa Blanca and the corruption in our government. Amaru must be saved. If you were to assist my people, it would do much to earn my confidence. Where is he? We do not know exactly. We know he's in this province and that there's a Santa Blanca lieutenant who knows where he is. I'll put a call into the activity, see if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Start looking for that lieutenant and keep me informed of everything via sat phone. Good hunting. Saving Amaru is important to our cause, Yankee. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions. I will try, you know, but <laughs> things get dicey. I'm at the pop one. Pop, pop. Yeah, let's go. Feels good to be back, man. Feels so good. Yes, sir. New mission Operation Oracle Retrieve Bowman's Package. Okay, it's already marked it for us. We got 2.7 chems to get there, I think. Oh boy. Okay, so this is a lobby. We're just gonna jump in here real quick, take a quick look. Got the tack map. Look at this, guys. We got all these different places. And you see the skulls. Obviously, that tells you the difficulty we are in. <laughs> you know, the warm up. But it gets it gets crazy. Your skills get tested for sure. I don't have any skill points, but we will. We will. Stable aim. Sniper scope. We will be doing some sniping for sure. Parachute, that's a good one to get early. First, okay. Got this assault rifle. What do we got here? Well, I like G36Cs. I do. Solid. AK-12. Let's come with the... I like these too. I might rock with the Scorpion Evo. Ooh, seems kind of sick. Can I change the color of it? You and Gunsmith. Oh, this just comes with the game, probably, huh? Uh, I'm gonna go with G36C. Oh, we can throw some parts. See, this is what I love about this game. We got iron sights right now, so we're kind of screwed. Not a lot of stuff we can do with it, but we got paint we can mess with. Green gray is probably what I'll go with. Ear. Okay, so need something that's gonna have a little bit more range. It's an assault rifle, but it's got some scope on it. What is this? Seems kind of nice. AK-12, no thanks. So should I go with this FS, this ACR? It's probably what I'm gonna do. Color's kind of out there. Can I change that? Um, okay. Pistol, I don't think we'll have anything. Ah, okay. We got a ways to go, guys. All right, let's put our silencer on. So if you hold trigger, you can, you see this bottom left, you can remove the pressure. You can change how many shots. You can also change the zoom on it. Okay, yeah, let's check out this baby. Suppressor. Nice. Alright. Locate the Santa Blanca Lieutenant. Let's go, fellas. Time to earn your pay, people. Let's take Put the truck. Mm-hmm. I tell you, I'm not too comfortable working with Pakatari and these let's rebels. Drive this Nakahawa. He always ends up with more bodies in the ground. What's your feeling on this op, Nomad? End of the day, this is a revenge mission. We need to focus and get this done quick before we get stuck between local politics and the firestorm of cartel bullets. First objective, track down that Santa Blanca lieutenant so we can find Amaru. Show y'all some driving skills. Oh. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'll turn off some music for you guys. Look at the map, see that orange? That's telling us that we got some up here. Let's get a little target practice in, if you know what I mean. Let's pull out the ACR. What we got here? Civilians in the area. We got a tango with multiple civilians around. I'm spotting another tango. Mark oh, we got target. three. Watch the background. So we can sync this. Moving to position. Get a little bit closer. Ready. Call the shot. Shooting 
<laughs> These cartel fuckers are evil. We're good, guys. Everyone, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. He's down. Man down. Alright, not bad. Not Follow bad. Up, come One thing I like about this game, too, is it tracks your stats. So if I come... Um, I can look at myself right here. 41% tactical, 49%. Really? Let's go. I don't get away from them. They'll disappear in, in the car. Let's go. Those are some allies. The guys in the green. Oh, wreck. The green and yellow cars. They're with us. What are they called again? Can't remember. There's a lot of collectible stuff up in this piece, so... The chapel. Look, see, we got something. Don't mind us, guys. Got any eats around here, or what? Picture evidence. The Wafala flag. A little GTA action. You can just pull cars, pull cars over and... Take it from him. All right, we're coming up where we need to go. We're gonna get on foot here in a second. Go it's with the. Uh, yep. We might have to go with this ACR because has a scope. Let's see here. Hold and mark any of their defenses. Drone binoculars. There will be a time when I take all the mini map off. Not the mini map, but like Don't showing to you. Switch to suppressors. The orange that shows you where they're at. I just got to see it by sight. But I want to get. Well, Let's move. Without the drone. The drone is up. Let's see what we can see. Got another tango. Is that one? I got a third. Hopefully, I don't see my. Oh, we got him. I got this one, guys. So we can take him down quietly. See ya. Yes, sir. Yeah, we already did that. Feels nice coming to a game where I kind of already know what's going on. So, skills. We got a skill point. What do I do? Stamina, no pain. Hmm. Squad, revive speed, extra sync shot. That's big. Parachute, probably a good idea. I can't get anything because I need these other materials. So if you see up here on those those four, the heat, the plus, those supplies I gotta find around. Let's take out this guy. Dang it. I hate taking extra shots. It's like you're not confident in yourself, you know? So these supplies, these are the supplies I was telling you guys about. All right, there's a guy we need to interrogate. Let's be smart here. I got one narco, there, next to the watchtower. Okay, go call, go call. Can you see my gun? Quiet. Okay, we're cool.
right over here. You gonna come in here or what? Oh my gosh, that bird scared me. I love how they can't see my guys. Come here. Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. Enciendes? <laughs> Chill the fuck out, cabron. What do you want? Amaru, where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? Sure thing. He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People <laughs> like you. We need to get this done in a hurry. Amaru's an old man. He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. Maybe, maybe not. Amaru is a major player in the rebel movement. The cartel will keep him alive as long as they can to find out what he knows. We can't afford to take any chances. There's too much riding on this. Let's move. I see a second target. Alright, not a good place of binocular. Rookie mistake. Tango number three. We're missing one. Let's get moving. The cartel isn't gonna wait around for us to track down and rescue Amaru. So your drone, you can upgrade your battery. And obviously I'm explaining this to people who don't know this game. Eyes on a narco with a submachine gun. Over by the crate of comm gear. A lot of my subscribers are Destiny players, so... This may be something completely different for you guys. We gotta find a way to get down there. If we want to do this quietly. What are we gonna do, buddy? Can you move bodies? Yeah, it was. Got it. Moving. Say the word. Word. Target down. Shit. I think that's all of them. We're good. Took a hit. Okay. We'll let the rebels know where to find these supplies. We'll, we'll get better. We'll get better. I promise you. This documents. All right, let's find a whip. Go find homeboy. I'm pretty sure these guys will hit you. Not really sure. I know it's raining. What's up, fellas? Push. Forgot how, forgot how fun driving is in this game. In every game I ever play with like teammates and stuff, I'm the driver. Whoa, camera didn't turn with me. Oh yeah, we made it. Yo, cartel gunman, find the barn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotta get my stealth skills back up. Lay down. Do a little recon. Yep. Got another tango. Yep. And baby makes three. Yep. Come on. That makes five. Someone else? Where's this other guy? I whistle. <laughs> Where you going, boy? Yeah. 
Yo, I got a weapons case here. This could get nasty. My bad, fellas. <laughs> Clear on my side. Hasty, hasty. It's okay. Heart's beating, man. I forget how this makes you feel. Awesome. I can put this to use. Ooh, a scope. Can I, can I throw that on my um, salt? There we go. Let's take a look at that. There we go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Are you Amaru? What's left of him anyway? Come on, we're getting you out of here. Let's go, bud. Oh boy. I'll fly. Actually, can you wait here? Stop. While we're over here, I want to go take out this place. You've got a little more action. Deploying drone. We gotta get practice, fellas, you know? Got another tango. So got when we're ready, we got reps. Just spotted one with submachine guns. You gotta get reps in. Oh, we got something in here. Moving to position. Ready. Call the shot. No, oh, don't do it. Call that off. Sheesh. Getting a position. Good to go. Take number three. Got him. He's down. Boys, we're still there. I thought. Looks good. Come I thought on. you had to. Uh... Beat you, cabron. Don't you like a free get out of death card? Locate skill points. Locate supply raids. Performance skill points always. For this <laughs> shit, I'll tell you. <laughs> My man. Now you see our map lit up. Now we got some good stuff. It's sloppy, guys. It's sloppy. I'm a little bit antsy. Up, Being a little aggressive. But doing okay, I think. Sorry, man. Had to go take care of some business. We back, though. Up in this chopper. We'll be on our way. Yeah, you get in the front, my Good boy. Three Kims. Oh, I forget about planes. I, I can fly choppers, I can drive cars, but flying planes, <laughs> my brain, it just does not work. Put you down here nicely. Weapons case, huh? What we got? Get down. I've been wanting one of these. A sniper. Okay. Probably what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna go. Yeah, we're gonna scissors to a sniper. Mm-hmm. Hurts. Scope. Yes. Paint. Green gray. Just, just keep it the same for a little bit, and we'll come here and we'll go to the ACR. Yeah. That's how we rock it. All right. Let's finish this and then we'll be good. Are you 
hurt? Santa Blanca is not the most gracious of hosts. These Aucas, these demons, they had questioning me. Let us see. Their talk of love was enough to make me vomit. But their methods were not... Were not... Were their names Yuri and Polito? Si! Yuri Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval while Sueño questioned him. I want them bad. We only saw run-of-the-mill Sicarios when we freed Amaru. But I haven't seen Yuri and Polito in at least three days, maybe four. I don't know where they are now. We need more intel. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's got to know something. Gather documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. We'll turn over every rock. Tell us. Heads up. Bowman's file on Yuri and Plito is coming through. There were four people in the room the night DEA agent Ricky Sandoval was murdered. El Sueño, the head of the Santa Blanca cartel, Ricky, and the last two were La Yuri and El Polito. Yuri and Polito met at a poor state-run hospital in Chiapas, where El Polito was doing his residency and La Yuri worked as a nurse. Mm. It was love at first sight. From the first moment their eyes met, they were inseparable. <laughs> A love like no other. Hmm. One day, said... a Vuchon named La Plaga walked into the ER, all shot up. It was touch and go for a while, but Yuri and Polito were able to save his life. La Plaga was grateful. He showered them with gifts, invitations to the most exclusive parties, even a new car. And after a while, La Plaga made Yuri and Polito the personal medical staff of the Santa Blanca cartel. Mm. But that wasn't their main job. See, Yuri and Polito know about the human body. They know how much pain a person can endure before he'll die. They know how to keep a person alive and awake so they can feel the pain. And most of all, they know how to inflict that pain. That's what they do in Itaqua province. When Santa Blanca captures someone that refuses to talk, the Yuri and El Polito make them talk. They break people. Like I said, there were four Sheesh. people in the room the night Ricky Sandoval was murdered. Sueño, Ricky, Yuri, and Polito. They kept Ricky alive while Sueño tortured him. Non-stop for 47 hours straight. They broke Ricky Sandoval. Then Sueño executed him. Wow. Okay. That's the rundown on like Yuri and El. All right, let's go skills here. We got two skill points and we got some stuff to spend. So look at this. Okay, we get one of that. A drone range. Right? I'm thinking I would go physical. Let's get stamina. Let's go those two. part of Santa Blanca security operation. Remember to check out Bowman's briefing on the chain of command. The guy in charge of security is El Muro, the wall. Personal bodyguard and childhood friend to El Sueño. El Muro's little brother is La Plaga. Nasty piece of shit. Very active on social media. Ed Sicario for the cartel. The hunt starts now. If we want Sueño, we gotta work our way up the hierarchy. The first targets are Yuri and Pete. We find the intel, we track them down, we take them out. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that first video. The intro is always kind of weird to me. It's just getting the story, explaining the game, learning the systems. I already kind of knew the system, so it was a little bit faster, a little bit quicker. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please leave the video with a like, drop a comment, subscribe. I hope to catch you on the next one. Peace.